Let's try web scraping with ChatGPT. Uh, I could use a website like Amazon or IMDb. In this case, I'm using Books to Scrape. It's an inventory of books with some prices and some links and feedback. As I asked GPT to write the code for, for web scraping, it's uh, in, in the process of uh, generating the code for me. And along with the code, it provides uh, a useful narrative around the explanation of the code as well. Let's copy this code and take it to Visual Studio Code and see if we can execute it. So I'm going to run the code now, but let's just first save the file. And as you can see, the code executes and it's able to bring back the name of the book. Now I'm going to ask the chat GPT to, to provide the prices as well and include the links too. And what's really amazing is that it um, updates uh, the code uh, to include these, right? So it, it very much knows the context of our previous conversation and is able to build up on top of it. Let's uh, copy this code sample and take this back into Visual Studio Code and see if we can execute the code to see the updated results. And as you can see, we get the prizes and the links as well. Let's take this a step far further and ask ChatGPT to output the results, not in the console, but actually in a CSV file. And there we go, it explicitly generates the code to be able to do that. Let's copy the code across back into Visual Studio Code and let's run this. And as you can see, rather than writing the output to the console, it's actually generated the CSV file. Okay. Well, how about we take this even further and ask ChatGPT to help us visualize the prices of the books. And again, I'm building on the context of the previous conversation here. ChatGPT goes ahead and provides me a little snippet of a code to be able to visualize the, uh, the results. I'm going to challenge ChatGPT a little bit further and ask it to um, combine all of the different snippets into one code file. And look, <laughs> amazing, it's doing that. It's taken the previous code and it's um, it's uh, merging uh, the code for the visualization uh, into the same snippets as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to copy this across into Visual Studio Code and try to execute that. Oh, uh, looks like we've hit a snag here. We are running into an error message where by the looks of it, there seems to be a conversion issue in the data type for one of the values. And historically, what I would have done at this point is copy that error message and taken it to Google or Bing and then scroll through Stack Overflow questions. But ChatGPT revolutionizes this as I could take that error into ChatGPT and it recognizes that error and says, it potentially I'm getting that error because I have the pound sign in front of the value. So it's making an update to the code to truncate any white spaces, trim away any white spaces, but also to remove um, the pound sign uh, before trying to visualize uh, that data and then trying to do the float conversion on that data type. So it's, it's pretty impressive that um, I don't have to bear the old experience of uh, getting through issues when I find them versus chat GPT can actually work through the resolution process itself. So let's just copy that code and run it here. And as you can see, we're able to visualize the results as well. Now, it won't be good software engineering if uh, we just stopped here. So let's challenge ChatGPT and take this a step further. All right, let's write the unit test to test this code. And so ChatGPT uh, is going away and generating a test class uh, for us and creating some usable tests as well. The code for this is being generated for testing the scraping, testing the generation of the CSV file. 
and also uh, test being generated to see whether the bar chart uh, is being created or not. But it's all accompanied by some useful commentary around the explanation. And also a nice mention of um, how we can actually run uh, this test um, uh, natively uh, prior to running the code as well. Pretty useful, pretty impressive, chat GPT.